<laughs> What's up guys? Shad here. Uh, I said I was gonna start going through some of my bikes that have been finished for a while and just do some bike checks. I'll let you guys check out some bikes. So I figured I would start off with my first freestyle bike. Uh, this isn't technically my first freestyle bike. I broke it and destroyed it, but I rebuilt uh, my first freestyle bike uh, years back. It took me forever to find everything. But this is what my first freestyle bike pretty much looked like on day one of having it. Um, so this is a Sterling Freestyle FS600. It's a 1986 model. This was purchased. Where was this from? <laughs> this is from TA Cyclery in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. So that's where this this uh, bike came from. Um, so I really, really wanted an 86 Performer or World Tour in Maui Blue. My family is pretty poor. I had like a Murray. Um, my dad and mom were split up and my dad called me and told me he would bought me a freestyle bike. It was used and his friend was gonna drop it off at our house because we lived about three hours, two hours away from, from each other. So I'd been kind of buying parts for whenever I did get a freestyle bike and I'd purchased these GT grips and had these sitting waiting and I'd purchased those Tioga roll-on pegs because still to this day, that's my favorite peg ever. Um, so I had those sitting waiting. I remember coming out, I lived out in the country in central Oregon, coming outside and uh, this bike was on our back deck covered in frost. I think the guy dropped it off at like four in the morning. I pulled it inside, put the pegs, put the grips on and rode it to school that day. And so that was my, this was my first freestyle bike. Huh? This is like what I learned to drop in on, what I learned to do a lot of like my first flatland tricks. Um, I broke a lot of stuff on it. Um, like Sterling, there was a bunch of companies back in the mid eighties that made freestyle bikes. Sterling, Peugeot, uh, I, I'm trying to think of some other ones, but you know, they, they weren't like Murray's or Huffy's. They were kind of like these, you know, B-level freestyle bikes that were pretty good, but you know, it wasn't a Haro or a GT or a Dyno or, you know, a Hutch or anything. So um, this is what I had, it got me into it. Um, I'll run through some of the parts with you guys. A lot of it's just no-name stuff. So. We've got the Sterling Freestyle FS600. Um, these are the forks that came with it. I think these forks came on a lot of bikes back then. Just some knockoff Taiwan ones. Um, you know, the double peg holes. Uh, these plastic pegs, I forgot what they're called. These are spinner pegs. Yeah, so the plastic ones, spinners, I think those were the main ones that came on a lot of the fork once I think these came on like the mongooses on the decades and stuff. So, um, I've got, I don't even know what this front brake is. It says like racer uh, XL. I don't know. Some generic front brake. Um, we got the center pole precursor to nine nineties back there for the back brake. And cool stuff brake shoes it's all put together with the uh acs rotor and uh these are actually these brakes feel really good some star levers you know if you rode in the mid 80s especially early gt stuff y'all had star levers um so brakes feel pretty good they pull they pull good they don't work good um we've got are these are these even skyways these might be knockoffs um, nope, these are, yes, yeah, Skyway six spoke bags. So, and we got your kind of generic freestyle tires from back in the day. Um, it's nice, look at those GT grips. Everybody used to ride those GT Amy's. They still feel really nice. Um, yeah, nothing too special on this. I mean, it's just your stock mid eighties freestyle bike that you get into it with. I do have a swatch sticker on this side that 
looks pretty cool. You know, everybody wanted the swatch stickers. But no real crazy parts to go through on this. Um, but just a nice bike that, you know, I started riding, riding on. So I think shortly thereafter, I bent these handlebars and I got Peregrine bars, like maybe a year later. I did get Peregrine, uh, a Peregrine wheel set. I think the uh, expert, like the loose ball one, pro, I can't remember the, how the notches go, but I'm going to get a Peregrine wheel set for this. I did get a pair. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know, I kept upgrading this and then the bike I got after this, uh, I got a Dyno Detour that was used and I rode that for a while and then I moved on to a, uh, a Bully when they first came out. So I'm going to park this thing. I figured the first, you know, full bike check, it, it would only be appropriate if it was like my first freestyle bike. So I'm going to park this, let you guys check it out and yeah, let me know if you guys somebody out there rode a sterling i've met a few people but not too many people have rode them and you know what you started off riding with and you know uh all that good stuff so love to hear your thoughts and uh i'll talk to you guys here soon